In China's vast Inner Mongolia, panels of PV modules, turbines of wind farms are filling this once empty land. While electricity is being generated by the sun and the wind, then sent across the country pollution-free, this is just a miniature of the rapidly developing renewable energy sector in China. According to Liu Jianping, general manager of SPIC Inner Mongolia Company, this area has many number ones in the energy sector in China. First of all, the wind power resource in Inner Mongolia ranks first in China, while the photovoltaic resources are ranked second only to Tibet. Inner Mongolia currently has 56.5 million kilowatt hours of wind and photovoltaic installed capacity. 36% of its total installed capacity is clean energy including about 41.7 million kilowatts of wind power, ranking first in China. For the past 17 years, Inner Mongolia has been the largest exporter of clean energy in China. In the process of construction, Inner Mongolia has accumulated rich advantages in technology, manufacturing, capital, talent and management, which are critical in its clean energy development. This place used to be a complete desert. Now it is the largest PV panel power station by Guinness World Record and generates 50 gigawatt electricity every year. The beauty of planting PV power station in the desert is that we not only utilize solar power for free, but also minimize natural hazards caused by sand flow and desertification. In addition, we are cooperating with Yili Group in Inner Mongolia on desert governance. We set up the photovoltaic sand control project in Kabuki Desert. Through the clean power generated by photovoltaic desertification control, we will produce hydrogen, convert the hydrogen into methanol, and cooperate with downstream producers to manufacture fertilizers. In 2018, we built a 300,000 kilowatt solar photovoltaic demonstration project in Dalat Ordos in 133 days. I recently spoke to the founder and CEO of Longji Green Energy, Li Zhengguo. He told me that Chinese PV industry used to have no competitiveness in terms of material, equipment and market demand. But just in these 10 years time, the industry is now dominating global supply chain, technology and market demand. 10 years ago, the renewable energy contributed only 2.7% to our total electricity generated. However, through the end of 2021, this number had increased to 18.5%. According to data from the National Statistics Bureau, our total renewable energy installation capacity exceeded 100,000 gigawatt with a scale of hydro, wind, PV and biomass, all becoming number one leader globally in recent years. These achievements will not happen without top-down policy guidance. Xi Jinping unveiled energy safety new strategy as early as 2014. He has been very hands-on in terms of promoting new energy consumption and energy supply revolution, as well as energy technology and energy system revolution. He has been emphasizing global cooperation in this field and focusing on building clean, low-carbon emissions, a safe and efficient energy system for China. Apart from the SOEs like SPIC, private companies in China also took the opportunity to innovate world-class products in all fields. Names such as Goldwind, Longji, Tianhe, Jinko, Mingyang, and many others are playing important roles in global markets. I've spoken to many entrepreneurs in the sector during the past two years, reporting on their relentless dedication towards this industry. In the past five years, in addition to the upgrading products, we have also paid more attention to the online design and the self-development of kernel software. At the current stage, we believe the capacity and technological advancement of the wind turbines designed in China and the products made by foreign-funded manufacturers are almost at the same level. Not only should it have a good appearance, but it must also be economical and be accepted by consumers.
完全接受的。China's own energy needs aside, companies in the sector are also getting ready to address the demand from global markets. Longji, for instance, now has overseas market contributed 60 percent to its total revenue. Without Xi's new energy development strategy, these miracles would not happen in China. Kate Kui, CGTN, Beijing.